Hey, nailer people. Uh, we're going to talk about different type of oils. So let's go over our oils. And I'm going to twist this thing around here. It is January 19th. And we did this on January 7th. So let's take a look at what we got here. Shit, that ain't gonna work. I can't read it. Okay, so this is uh, just regular old mineral oil. And, uh, hell, I think it's okay. Uh, damn, I can't do this this way. I'm gonna have to read it in front and zoom in on it. So let's uh, move this here. I think Smokey killed a snake in here. I'm pretty sure that's a snake. And it wasn't here a couple days ago. So it must have snuck in here and Smokey got it. <laughs> he's in the house by the fire right now, in case anybody's wondering where he's at. So let's zoom in on this and see if we can't get some good focus. Uh, I wonder if I put like something behind it here. It'll give me more focus. Let's see if that works. No, I think that might have worked. Mineral oil. Uh, I wouldn't say it did great. The next one is BLS. And if you watch the first video, you'll know what that did. But that one looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see a whole bunch on that one. What's the next one? That one looks pretty good. That's mink oil. Just regular old mink oil. Uh, the next one is coconut oil. Let's see how coconut oil did. Eh, we got a little bit. Coconut oil is not as good as mink oil. So mink oil looks pretty good there. Uh, this is Tooltec and grapeseed oil. Now Tooltec was that cheap 99 cent crap I got at the store. And it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> This is grapeseed oil that I cook with. Mm, I think I see some rust coming up on that one. Uh, let's see what the next two are. Mobile One Grease and Raw Bacon Juice. Let's go with Mobile One Grease. Yeah, I think Mobile Oil did probably better than Mobile Oil Grease. And this is regular old raw bacon oil. Not great, but not too bad. So that's just raw bacon. Next two we have, what's that? Stick fat? Oh, steak fat. So that was steak fat, and this was uh something skin. Oh, banana skin. Okay, so these two are steak fat and banana skin. Let's go with steak fat. Eh, not too great. Eh, banana skin's not too good either. So let's see what we got next. Regular old fish oil and cooked bacon grease. Let's go regular old fish oil here. Actually, regular old fish oil don't look too bad. Hmm. And then what's the other one? Cooked bacon grease. Yeah, I see some rust on that one. Not a fan of the cooked bacon grease either. This is Jergens hand lotion. We'll pretty put that down as a fail. <laughs> Don't use Jergen. This is Mobile One 520. We had to redo that one because it did good on the last time. And it looks pretty good. Pretty consistent on old Mobile One. This is regular old vegetable cooking oil. I put this on my cast iron skillets, but I heat them up so it goes in. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Regular old vegetable oil might work in a pinch. LSA and K&N oil. K&N is the stuff you spray on your air filter. It's that red oil. And I'm thinking that looks like a fail. It may go do it for... Alright, I wouldn't use K&N filter. What's the other one? 
LSA, that's a little tube that the old stuff they used to put on the machine guns. Actually, not too shabby. Yeah, LSA didn't is right up there with place. What do you got here? Seafoam creep and regular old baby oil. I'm looking at baby oil and I'm thinking that's pretty much a fail. Oh, hang on, I gotta move my little piece of wood so I get some good uh, background here. All right, so where are we at here? We are at, I think, seafoam. Seafoam creep and baby oil. Seafoam creep is supposed to be pretty good stuff. Yeah, I see some rust on there. Not as impressed as I thought it would be. And then baby oil, obviously, looks pretty bad. Not a fan of the old baby oil. It's good for other things, not for this. Rand CLP, I keep a little tube of that in the grip of my ARs because they sell it in this little small tube. And you know what? It's not doing too bad. So Rand CLP, CV joint grease. This was the black joint grease, not the CV red. Eh, I don't know. Might be good for lubricant. Not so good for rust protection. Alrighty. What the hell was that? Anybody remember? Ground. Something. Stick Pro. What the hell was that? The next one is a. Uh, oh, Cobalt Air. Shit, let me go roll that upside down and see what the hell that is. Oh, shit, I didn't write it. Gun. Slick Pro. Oh, that was that uh, free stuff oil that came free in a cleaning kit. So, uh, where was that? Gun Slick Pro. That's what it was. And I thought it was cheap because they gave it away. And I was correct. Okay. K Cobalt Air Filter Oil. That or your air gun oil. That looks pretty thin. It looks thin like three and one. I was expecting a good showing on this. Got a little bit. Eh, I don't know. Not a big fan of that one either. We got regular old pledge and used motor oil. Pledge. Yeah, that looks pretty much like a no-go. How about used motor oil? And that's mobile one. Oh, used oil didn't show too good. Hmm. Not a fan of used motor oil. Now we got transmission oil and dialectic grease. So this is transmission oil. I think I'm seeing some rush. I'm not a fan of the transmission oil. Dialectic grease? Wow. May work with electricity, but not too good for rust. Wow. Not a fan of the dialectic grease. Dielectric. Uh, what do we got? Last two. We have the control and we have Scylla... What was that? Is that silicone spray? I think it was. Either way, it sucks. Now, everybody asked me to add Vaseline, so one day later, that crooked nail right there is Vaseline. Don't put Vaseline on your shit, because it looks pretty damn bad. And it was one day late. And the control nail... Um, I guess all the oil did pretty good. Hell, the control oil looks better than some of the ones, some of the other oil. So now we're going to do the, uh, the older ones that... So we'll move this one back, and we're going to move these to the front. Let's see what we got. And so on the first one, what do we got there? 
We got Mobile One Oil, WD-40, Blaster Penetrator Oil, Strike Hold, and TW-25. So Mobile One Oil is still looking pretty damn good. WD-40, looking worse. Not the one in the back, the one in the front. Blaster Penetrator, well that's junk. Don't put that on your gun. Strike Hold is a good rust remover. I don't know about a rust preventer. No. I'm going to go on that. TW25 was doing pretty good for a while, but it's been outside for a while now and it's starting to rust up. Still got a little protection there. Now remember, these were put out, I think, on January 20th. And I'll flip that around and get the other side. Check the date. December 20th. And it's now January 20th. So these have been 30 days out. And they weren't out in the open. They were undercover, but they were still out in the elements. We got Miltech. Man, that junk we got hoppy's dry lube with teflon Ooh, that teflon's good stuff i've always heard you got to pay more but it works really jesus christ marvel mystery oil not too shabby been out there a long time remember i didn't put any oil at the bottom so that's the bottom that's not treated i only put it a halfway and i gotta admit oh marvel's looking pretty good for 30 days outside uh Blaster White Lithium and the Control. Blaster White Lithium, eh, pretty much fail. And the Control is a fail. Now we'll go to the other one. Go Juice. That was the number one contender for a while. And it still looks pretty good for 30 days out. You can definitely tell where I didn't put any on the bottom. And where I rubbed it halfway. 30 days outside. Go Juice. Man, that stuff looks pretty good. Rim Oil. Rust Oil. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I can't believe I was using that shit on my gun. CX, Corrosion X, that was one of the front runners, pretty good stuff. I really like it, I've always liked it. They tested it on uh, stuff in salt water. Corrosion X, still doing pretty good. Lucas Rust Oil, I mean Lucas Gun Oil. Ooh, doggies. If I ever want to get something a pretty rust, I'm going to put Lucas Gun Oil on it. And B, I think, is Ballastol. Mm, not a fan. And last, CV2. Man, great lubricant. I'm bummed. It is not a rust dude. Fail. 3-in-1 oil. Not too shabby. 30 days out there. Nothing on it. 3-in-1 Marvel Mystery. Pretty cheap. A.S. What the hell was AS? Oh, AMSOIL. AMSOIL? Not too shabby. Oh, I lost my little barrier. Let me go move my wood there so we can see the rust. So we got AMSOIL, Break Free, Safari Charlie, Super Lube, and CX15. So I think we were on AMSOIL. Got some protection, not great. I wouldn't use it. Break free? Expected a better showing from break free. Not a fan, 30 days out. The hell is that? Safari Charlie? Junk. Super Lube? For rust protection, junk. CX15. This and Mobile One were the front runners in Go Juice. And um, it's done pretty good for 30 days out, but. I think I'm going with Go Juice and Corrosion X and maybe Mobile One over here. Marvel Mystery isn't too bad. You can just tell by looking at the shiny ones. Those are the ones in the back. Let me get Mobile One up here. Yeah, looking at them up here, without a doubt, Mobile One's a mineral on this one. Looking at them with the straight eye, Go Juice, Corrosion X, and 3-in-1 oil. Those are the 30 days out. Look at Mobile One there. 
Man, that mobile one did pretty damn good. So that's an update on the oil test. Um, we'll put the other one out there and uh, see what's going on. I'm not sure who we decided the winner was on this sucker. I mean, none of them look that bad yet. The worst one is Vaseline. I mean, that's the one that stands out the most. Vaseline and mineral oil, coconut oil, Jergens hand lotions, k and oil, baby oil, pledge, used motor oil, dialectic grease, silicone spray, all those look pretty junky. But, uh, all right. Well, I mean, this gives you an idea on some, uh, rust protection. Uh, remember, now this is rust and not lubricant, because some of these are pretty good lubricant. I think Super Lube's pretty good. I think, uh, Corrosion X is good. Um, I think, um, CV2 is a great lubricant grease. Uh, so, Marvel and 3-in-1 look pretty good. Mobile One looks good. So, there's some good lubricants in here that may not be good rust protection, but, and remember, these nails are raw. Most guns are treated with some sort of rust preventative, either bluing, parkerizing, you know, something. And um, most guns aren't left out any elements like this. But this is a good test that if your gun was left out, you know, let's say you dropped it at the cabin and you couldn't get it for a couple days, there's a couple of oils that I'd rather have on it than, a, than some of these for sure. I wouldn't want rim oil if I left my gun out there for two or three days because um, I'm pretty sure rust would happen. But... Anyway, that's the oil. Uh, tomorrow is Monday the 20th, and uh, the rally in Virginia. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll try to be covering that most of the day and putting videos out tomorrow on that. All right. And, hell, I don't know if I'll put this out. I'll probably put this out first thing in the morning, and then uh, the rally doesn't really start till 11. People are going to show up from 7 to 1, uh, and they're going to start talking at 11. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'll be listening to the radio all day. They're covering it live, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, well, then that's there.